weather rate forecast. A bit of a gray start to our Tuesday morning. As you look out in Salina, cloud cover blanketing the skies, but elsewhere across the state, we're seeing plenty of sunshine. A complete 180 as we move over towards Colby. Blue skies with a few cumulus clouds in the background, and that's because an area of high pressure is working its way across the Sunflower State and is eroding those clouds. We're almost cut clean in half here. Areas in Great Bend on that cusp of seeing the sun one direction off towards the west, but seeing the cloud cover as you look east. So areas like Great Bend and Pratt expect to see more sunshine over the next few hours as these cl clouds slowly push their way farther off towards the east. Where we're seeing more sunshine, we're also seeing warmer temperatures this afternoon. But that area of high pressure is also going to help temperatures rise as we start to see winds come out of the south as winds around high pressure move in a clockwise direction. Warmer air will be filtering back into the sunflower state, pushing us in the 70s and eventually the 80s as we move towards the next few days. This afternoon, we're in the 60s for most 69 over in Goodland 71 down in Liberal. That's where we're seeing more blue sky and more sunshine where the clouds have stuck with us. Temperatures in the low 60s, 63 in Wichita and 62 in Salina. Eventually we will reach into the 70s by this late afternoon. Clouds will decrease throughout the day. Then overnight here in the Wichita area, at least we're looking at a cool and calm evening. Temperatures in the 50s. Overall, a very nice night, but elsewhere across the state, we're expecting to see some showers and even some thunderstorms work their way back into the forecast cast mainly off in northwestern Kansas as a quick moving shot of moisture will be pushing across the region and this is our latest severe weather outlook for today and since this morning they have extended this area of dark green farther down towards the south almost encompassing the Garden City area now but it is including Kearney County and we are going to be seeing some of those isolated storms flare up as we move into the later half of this evening it's going to be more of an overnight rain event isolated in nature at first with those showers and thunderstorms a little bit more organization as we move towards the early morning hours on Wednesday and some of that moisture will try to linger into south central Kansas. So we might wake up to a few sprinkles tomorrow morning, but Wednesday is looking mostly clear, similar to what we saw today and then overnight Wednesday. That's when our next cold front will arrive along the Colorado Kansas state line, bringing once again showers and thunderstorms into western Kansas and those will advance farther across the region, lingering into our Thursday morning. But Thursday brings better chances for widespread showers and thunderstorms as we move into Thursday night. Expect to see pockets of heavy rain and even some thunder as we move into Thursday. So we're going to have back to back today's of these off and on showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow evening, we have a marginal risk along the Colorado Kansas state line. And then that shifts on Thursday with a marginal risk along the Oklahoma Kansas state line. So we're expecting to see better chances for some of those storms to become severe as we move closer to Oklahoma. Temperatures are also going to be on an up and down swing with these multiple cold fronts moving through. We're climbing into the upper 70s here in the Wichita area for tomorrow and then staying warm for Thursday with rain chances blossoming across the region, pushing us back into the mid 70s by the time we look towards Saturday. For those in north central Kansas, temperatures will climb this afternoon as we see more sunshine into the low 70s, almost pushing the 80s for Wednesday and Thursday, but that cold front moving across the region Thursday, bringing rain chances into early Friday morning before we dry out and warm up for the weekend. Southwest Kansas pushing the 80s today thanks to all the sunshine. Rain chances arrive late tonight into tomorrow and linger with us through Friday before we dry out for the weekend. Northwest Kansas will see those showers arriving late tonight and eventually rain chances hold on for Wednesday and Thursday before we see sunnier skies for Friday. Keep it here. We'll be right back after the break.